How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to talk about antivirus. More specifically, does your iPhone need an antivirus? And this is a very controversial topic. I've been thinking about this for a while now and I have other videos here on the channel talking about viruses for the iPhone, but never specifically on this, on if your iPhone actually needs an antivirus and that's why I decided to record this to make this very clear to everybody because I know this is a very important subject uh, it's relevant and I know a lot of people get really uh, anxious and worried about privacy security having your information stolen and how can they protect their information as much as they can and of course we all care and worry about this so that's why this video right so the first thing I want to talk about is what are the antivirus that we have on the market for the iPhone, what they actually do, and of course, if we actually need them, if your iPhone needs an antivirus, all right? So we pretty much have three main antiviruses on the market for the iPhone on the App Store, and they are very well known and famous because they are very old, let's say. Uh, those are PC antivirus that we know for ages. So we have pretty much Norton, McAfee, and Avast. So we have those three big players on the market, and they pretty much do the same thing, and they work kind of the same way. So uh, you can download them for free. So those are not paid applications. You download for free. You have some features that are free that you can use, though they're pretty much useless. And the main features that they offer are paid. So you're gonna have to pay a subscription, is a monthly payment. So we have in-app purchases and you pay every single month and you have that service, that protection, uh, as long as you're paying. If you stop paying, you don't have that anymore, right? So it's important to keep that in mind. So the main thing about this video and the most important thing I'm gonna give you right at the beginning of the video is uh, the features that those applications offer, the main features all of them offer are irrelevant for protecting your iPhone. They're just irrelevant if you're talking about protecting your iPhone against viruses and the main threats that the iPhone actually go through. And I have to explain you this because this is super important. So they are irrelevant because iPhones don't get viruses. They just don't. There are no known iPhone viruses. You can't get infected, hacked, like uh, bypass in any way. So there are no malware uh, that we know that can get into your iPhone, get control over your iPhone and steal your information or maybe uh, control it uh, even though you don't want it to do something. It, it, it doesn't work, all right? We have this for PCs, for desktops. We have the names, we have Trojan and many, many others, but that's not what we have on the iPhone. It just doesn't work like that. We don't have viruses like that. And you may be thinking, oh, Daniel, so you're saying the iPhone is hack proof. Like it's impossible to get hacked. It's impossible to get a virus, but I've seen somewhere on the internet, I've seen people getting hacked. I've seen people getting uh, their information stolen on their iPhones. Well, what you have probably seen is a one-off case of like, let's say Jeff Bezos who got hacked by a multi-billion dollar company who actually uh, designed an attack specifically to his iPhone and this is a very different thing. I mean, a company like that that does a cyber attack like that, they can hack anything. They can hack like a, a, a thermonuclear plant, whatever. Like if they can hack anything, they can hack your an iPhone. What I'm talking about here is a virus for the masses, is a virus that can affect me and can affect you. I'm not talking about uh, any specific orchestrated attack on one iPhone, of course. If you have an organization like that, they can hack whatever they want. I'm talking about a normal virus for me and you, and that doesn't exist for the iPhone. So you shouldn't be worried about that and you shouldn't get an antivirus because of that, because there's no risk of that happening to you or to me or to your mother, or your wife, your daughter. It just doesn't happen like that, right? There's a whole different thing when we're talking about jailbreaking and downloading apps outside the app store right 
If you do things like that, if you jailbreak and if you download apps outside the App Store, you may be putting yourself at risk, not of getting a virus, because as I said, there are no iPhone viruses, but of actually opening up your iPhone, opening up backdoors that um, hackers can, in theory, go through and access your iPhone through those backdoors. That's a completely different thing. So you're opening up your iPhone, you're weakening your security by doing things like that, things that you shouldn't be doing, uh, if you're concerned about privacy and security in your data. So uh, no one will hack you, but somebody can get your information through this, which is something that you have created, you have provoked to yourself. So this is something to keep in mind, right? Another very common thing that people have this misconception about viruses is those scams, those very common iPhone scams, like the Safari scam, where you're browsing on Safari and there's this pop-up window saying that your iPhone is infected. Your iPhone is not infected. <laughs> this is not a, vi a virus. This is just a scam. This is an ad really, which is just saying that your iPhone is infected, but it's not. So you can click on the link that is showing you and then you will buy something or give away your information or something like that. So it's an old scam. Uh, it is just being displayed to you as uh, as if something is wrong, but it's not. It's just a Safari ad. It's just a spam message trying to steal from you. And this may appear as a Safari ad or maybe as a calendar virus. It's very common as well. You get calendar events saying that your iPhone is infected. I have a specific video on this right here on the channel talking about the calendar virus. You can click here go ahead and have a look and we have other scams like uh, the sms one where you can get a text message saying from your bank or from any service that you're uh that you actually subscribe to with a link and then you click on that link and then you go and make purchase or give your information and this is really old like scams like that they happen they have been going on for 20 years on emails or something like that so this is not new and this is not a virus this is just a scam and again your iphone is not infected just because you're getting those messages or, or those things are happening uh like scammers are just really really creative and they have different ways of displaying you those images to make you think your iphone is infected actually if you want to know more about iphone viruses how more in depth if you want to know everything about iPhone viruses, this whole universe, because here I'm talking about antivirus more specifically, uh, and if you should buy or you shouldn't, I have a specific video that I'll put another card right here and in the description. Uh, and this video is getting close to 1 million views. Maybe it will be over 1 million when you watch this. And I talk about iPhone viruses as a whole. And I explain you this whole thing in further detail. I talk about sandboxing and many, many other technical stuff that if you enjoyed this and if you want to learn more about iPhone viruses, I do recommend that you watch that. It's a really popular video. All right. So my verdict, very, very important. If you're concerned about your information and your iPhone getting viruses and everything like that, you shouldn't get an antivirus because that won't help you. Um, the services that the antiviruses provide you are pretty much Wi-Fi scanning and um, VPN use and uh, tracking your websites, tracking some websites that you visit. Those things will not put your iPhone at risk. So why getting an antivirus and pay for that if the service, if the service that they provide won't protect you? Because what is risky? on the iPhone is misinformation, is actually uh, falling for one of those scams. And of course, no antivirus will protect you from a scam like that, from a, a, a calendar virus or from one of those messages that pop up on Safari. Um, they don't, they just won't. No antivirus will protect you from jailbreaking or from downloading stuff from Safari, downloading an app from Safari. They just won't. So all the risks that you have related to your iPhone um, they pretty much will go through, even if you have if you have an antivirus or if you don't. So your biggest ally on this fight for your protection, for your data, for your privacy is information. So what I can recommend you is don't spend your money on antivirus. Spend your money reading about this, watching videos about this, like this one and like many others that I have here on Dana Tech and of course on YouTube as a whole. 
those videos, those articles, and all that information, this is what, this is what will actually keep you safe. This is what will pre prevent you from clicking on a link, from falling on, on any of those scams. This is really what matters at the end of the day. Of course, antivirus, they offer different kind of features that have nothing to do with viruses, like uh, cloud services and things like that. So if you have an antivirus or you use an antivirus because of those extra features and for you it makes sense, perfect. Like who am I to say don't do, don't spend money on antiviruses? Like I can tell you that. What I can tell you is antiviruses will not prevent your iPhone from getting into trouble and that's it that's it all right so that's pretty much it hope this video was clear was helpful all right so that's pretty much it and i'll see you guys in a few days as usual bye bye